Eric, a great win for you guys on a Friday night. You go over to Blythewood, and although it was kind of a strange night with all the bad weather, uh, bottom line is 20-19 to 19 win. And before we talk about the game, you guys had to have this, didn't you? Didn't you kind of feel like after losing the opener the way you did, we had to, had to get this win? Yes, sir. It was a big moral uh, boost for us to win this game. And, uh, we wanted to get back even, you know, get fix some mistakes from week one and play uh, play our way of football. You guys went against a team that has a quarterback that's uh, put up some big numbers. He had a great preseason, uh, a lot uh, a lot of hype for David Israel, and it's deserved. But you guys did a remarkable job. Uh, six for 27, and I believe 89 yards passing for him. And um, obviously, you and the rest of the guys in the secondary did a, did a heck of a job on y'all's end. Uh, just talk a little bit about what it took to slow down a really prolific passing attack. Well, we just had to practice hard all week. We knew it was going to be tough, so uh, we really stepped it up this week in practice after uh, first week. So we just had to practice and work on our technique and uh, watch a lot of film. And, uh, worked out good for us. When when they were driving, uh, already up six, and it looked like if they it was the fourth quarter, if they scored, it probably would have been ball game. And you intercepted him at the six yard line to give you guys another chance, and then boom, you go the length of the field, score, get the extra point, and win the game. Uh, how big, knowing the magnitude of that intercept, uh, interception, how how great a feeling is that for you to have made it? It was, it was good. Uh, they've been telling me to step up, and uh, coach told me to make a play. So saw the ball in the air, and I just knew I had to go up and get it. So. What kind of was it a uh, was it like a jump ball type of situation uh, yes, or sir. it was a quarterback scrambled out to the left and uh, I went back to find my dude ran back to him saw the ball in the air and just jumped came down with the ball yeah and uh, and of course then you guys turned around and went the length and and obviously that was the biggest drive you guys have had this year yes, um, as far as next week you've got to go down to Charleston down to Mount Pleasant and play Wando University <laughs> when it's 8,000 students or whatever it is. Um, they're a team that uh, I guess what we do know about them is White Knoll uh, got a victory over them and but we know they've got a lot of athletes and a, a lot of kids to choose from out there um, what's the philosophy going into that game uh, same thing it is every week speak our uh, or preach our technique play hard rally to the ball and get turnovers get, take some heads off get some big hits in there you know hopefully come out on top try to not let them score as far as um, as far as you guys I mean obviously that opener was tough and uh, but you bounced back obviously so big uh, this past week and if you get the win uh, if you go down there and get the win it's almost like that first game never happened when you say like it's just yeah, it's still there it just really sets a tone for we don't want to ever have that feeling again that losing feeling so we're just gonna have to keep that win streak going you be looking to make a couple more picks yes sir always always <laughs> looking for them all right Eric Ricker junior uh, defensive back, uh, safety or corner more? Safety. Junior corner or sa safety for Lexington High, 5'10", 175. And uh, because, of that, uh, because of that great play that you made, you are the Lexington CC's Pizza Player of the Week. Congratulations, man.